you got to be miles away from here for dawn. It's been hard to get uh, even black dramas made. It's not easy. I mean, you know, for the 22 years since I made my first movie, I've heard that so much, you know, that it's hard to get black dramas made, not to mention a period film, not to mention a film with a, a female, black female protagonist. When you do a historical piece like this, but you're making a movie, you have to fill in things. But um, I tried to bring as much of Harriet, what she really said. Um, wonderfully, we know what she said in a few ways. Her contemporaries wrote down things, but also she would do these one woman shows to raise money for the Underground Railroad. And so she would perform. And so she, in her own words, would say things. So I put as many of her own words in as I could. It's an inherently exciting story. There's jeopardy, there's, um, there's danger, there's adventure, you know? Um, she covers ground, it, there's movement, you know? So it, it lends itself well to an adventure story and she's kind of a real life superhero. What I love about the movie is you get these injections of new characters, you know, and you have the characters um, that have uh, that are have to do with uh, Broda's farm where she was enslaved, and then when she runs, the people that help her along the way, and then you get to freedom and you have a whole new characters, and then um, coming back and going through time, you bring in new characters. So it's kind of um, it's fun to see them. It really is. It's an ensemble piece with a very strong, 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 strong. Uh, lead you know I mean she's she's what's guiding the film and she's the focus of the film and she's in almost every scene but there are all these other wonderful characters we've been shooting so many scenes and we we're running a little behind schedule and it was just it, the rain had turned into kind of a gray drizzle and everybody's spiritual were a little down uh, Cynthia had had four changes that day and we started to think we weren't going to get the scene but it was, it was our last day at that location. And of course, as a director, you plan very carefully where you want to shoot something. I'm like, we have to go to the top of the hill, you know, and, and try and get it. And so we got to the top of the hill in the mud. We couldn't take some of the vehicles up because it was too muddy. We had to like schlep. And we get to the top of the hill and I'm rushing here, uh, um, Cynthia through hair and makeup. And we have to build the crane. And she arrives at the moment that the crane gets built. And at that moment, the sky parted. At that moment, the sun came through the clouds and dispersed it so beautifully. And what she saw, I mean, what's magic about it is it's one take mm -hmm. and what she's looking at is what was happening, you know? And, and it's, what you can't see is the whole crew bursting into tears. Gosh. I mean, it was, it, was, it was such a moment of grace. It really was. It was just, you know, it was so uplifting and it was so necessary for us sometimes because it was, um, it was a hard shoot to have these moments where um, you felt like, okay, you know, the skies parted for Harriet's walk into freedom. How amazing is that? I'm hoping that a new generation can be inspired by her and can begin to see her as a woman, not just this figure. You know, we're used to seeing kind of the old woman in the chair, you know? And so to, to really realize that she did her work, most of her work uh, rescuing enslaved people when she was a young woman you know, I think that's really inspirational, you know? I will give every last drop of blood in my veins until this monster called slavery is dead. Yeah. Ready? <laughs>